was at this moment. Hey guys, nowadays the meta seems to be playing Sylvana as the tank, which originally I was planning to do in this game. But suddenly our S3 picked another tank, so I had no choice but to play her in the side lane as a fighter instead. But to my surprise, she is still pretty good even as a fighter, which we will be able to see throughout this gameplay. But before we continue, I would like to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video. Ray is celebrating their second anniversary and they are planning to celebrate it by having a huge lineup of special events for this month. So if you only have heard about the game and never really tried it before, this is the best time to give it a try. So for their anniversary, they want me to answer some questions, and one of them is, what do I wish Ray for his birthday? Well, I wish they could continue doing what they are doing and keep improving their game while growing even bigger so I could keep getting sponsored by Raid. XD The second question is, if I could add anything to the game, what will it be and why? I would like to see some more game modes within the game, like with different mechanics but still using the same champions. But the game does offer a lot of things to do like building the ultimate team to battle against other players in the arena, or clearing some very challenging but rewarding campaigns. You can also join other players in a clan to fight the clan boss. This month is Ray's second year's anniversary, so they have scheduled a lot of events. They have got 6 straight weeks of anniversary events and tournaments running from March 1st all the way through the middle of April, all of them with insane prizes to win. They are even launching their first ever clan vs clan tournament to give players a chance to compete directly against another clan to see who comes out on top. If you download the game now using the link in the description or scan the QR code you are seeing right now, you will get many free items such as 100k silver, 50 ancient gems and 3 ancient shards. Also you will receive for free this epic champion. You'll find your extra reward here in your inbox for the next 30 days only. So feel free to download the game now using the link provided in the description below. Welcome to Mobile Legends. I thought I was going to 1v1 the Wonder Marksman, so I wanted to try to harass her as much as possible right from the start. But that will not be the case for this one. If I can make the tank quite low in HP, you will be forced to go back to heal, and that will allow me to harass their marksmen and potentially get a kill. My tank and support are quite smart, they know that ganking the bottom lane will have a bigger impact in the game. Whenever given the opportunity, I always try to harass the enemies, so later it will be a lot easier to kill them. I was just planning to hit and run, but then I saw Cyclops coming, so I decided to go back for the kill.
Remember guys, if you're the jungler, it's not worth sacrificing your life just for a kill, unless it's a shutdown kill, which provides a lot more gold than a normal kill. Lapu was planning to go to the middle lane, but I'm telling him to push the top lane instead, because he should use this chance to push the lane since Shou decided to come to the middle lane to clear the minion wave. Remember, the game is not only about getting kills, these little in-game decisions will give your team a huge advantage in the long run. Always try to aim for the damage dealers first. Gushion seems to be the type of player who cannot resist the temptation to go for the kill, even if the situation is way less than ideal. When you are the core, you gotta remember that your priority is to farm as fast as possible and have more gold than the rest, but if you keep dying just for a kill, you will be for delaying your farm and you won't be able to compete against the enemy's core. I thought Johe was alone, so I decided to fight him. But I didn't take into consideration that Mia was also there. It was at this moment. Absolutely naughty. I saw that the enemies were quite busy fighting the turtle, so I decided to just keep pushing. I thought Angela would certainly get killed by Cyclops, so I didn't want to waste my all on her. Remember to use the stun first before using the second skill.
And that's it for this video. I hope you found it entertaining, and if you did, consider leaving a like and subscribing. Thanks.